A teenage boy survives a shooting while walking to Overbrook High School. And this morning, we are hearing from that teenager's father who described the frantic moments following that shooting. Jasmine Payute is here, and Jasmine, yet another teenager, another juvenile shot here in the city. Janelle, these numbers are disturbing. According to the school district, so far this school year, the district says 91 students have been shot, 13 murdered, the most recent prompting Overbrook High School to go on lockdown. Now, school officials say a 15-year-old Overbrook High School student was walking to school when a car drove by and started shooting. It happened yesterday morning around 8.30 at 61st and Jefferson Streets. That's just three and a half blocks from the school. The ninth grader was struck in the arm and the leg and rushed to a nearby hospital. Overbrook High School went into immediate lockdown. We spoke to the teen's father and a school official. They described this entire thing as devastating. Rolled the windows down, they seen the guns, and my son and his friend, they ran. I'm saying he made it back home, he made it, he made it around the corner, made it home. I just heard my wife yelling. That's what woke me up. Came downstairs, I see him in the pool of blood. I think it's a miracle when you're looking at 32 shell casings out here in West Philadelphia. It's a miracle that this student survived. That teen is expected to be okay. The district recently approved a safe path program in the neighborhood where this happened. It involves neighbors who are hired to escort students to and from school. Jim and Janelle, the school district says all of this is in response to the violence and it's something they wish they didn't have to do. Walking to school, unbelievable. Jasmine, thank you for Sad that. Sad state of affairs. Thank it you, is. Jasmine.